Does your first time hurt or is it just uncomfortable? Did you try Brazilian wax? I wanna try, but scared. How do I keep my kitty smelling fresh all day? Hey guys, it's Lisette here. I did my hair today and I have these little two pieces coming down and honestly, I feel like I'm back in the triangle phase with my hair since it's been growing and so... Hi. Wow, thank you. And the Olaf? <laughs> thank you. In today's video, we're doing another girl talk and this one is about personal TMI hygiene, relationship, sex, all of the above questions. Also, before we start today's video, I wanted to give a little announcement. <laughs> I just came out with my very own merch. So this is the hoodie. I am literally in love with this color. You guys know this is my color. This is my color. As you guys can see, it says curl gang because we got curls. I have butterfly here, butterfly there, and also this really cute embroidered butterfly in the middle. And so I'm totally in love with it. There's the hoodie, there's a shirt, and then there's also a crew neck, which has a really pretty embroidered, embroidered, em it has a really cute embroidered butterfly in the middle. It says baby girl. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. You can check the link in the description box to check it out. I'm gonna be reposting everybody on my stories who sends me a DM and shows me that they purchased something and that they're wearing it and how cute they look. And so this is gonna be completely anonymous. I don't want to embarrass anybody or say anything. And my phone's on 1%, so I should get my charger. Okay, how do I keep my kitty smelling fresh all day? The first thing is as much as you want it to is not gonna be smelling like cupcakes. It's not. Although I wish, it's just not gonna happen. I really like to keep wipes with me. Everywhere I go, I like to keep some sort of wipes. There's certain things that can cause odor. It can be sweat. It can be just the discharge itself. When you keep wipes, you can just literally freshen up and just clean everything and make sure that it's good and that it's fresh. Wearing cotton underwear is really important because it's actually breathable. Cotton underwear versus wearing like spandex or like a different type of material because it's not as breathable and so air can't really get in there. But also drinking a lot of water is really helpful because what comes in your body goes out your body. So drinking water just helps to flush bacteria. Is it okay to wear thongs all the time? Do they cause odors? I personally don't wear thongs all the time, although I have a lot of thongs. I don't wear them all the time because I do wanna just sometimes be like super, super comfortable and wear like boy shorts or even wear like boxers. You just wanna let things breathe and just air out. I feel like it's good to have a balance, honestly. Back knee. The number one thing that I do to prevent back knee, which is so simple, but literally is just amazing. This is your shower routine. Get in the shower, condition your hair, let the conditioner sit in your hair, wash the body, everything but the back, rinse the conditioner out, and then wash your back. And if anything, rewash your chest, rewash those areas that the conditioner touched, especially if you're prone to back knee, then you might be prone to having it on your chest. So just be sure to wash those areas because the conditioner, if it's just sitting on your skin, it's definitely gonna break you out. You wanna use a soap that has salicylic acid or an active ingredient in it that helps to fight acne because if it's just like a regular soap like Dove or something, like it's not really gonna get the job done. Do you think guys care how much pubic hair their significant other has? Yes and no. Yes, if somebody has a preference, but no because at the end of the day, it's only just hair and it's really not that big of a deal. As long as things are kept clean, then you should be fine. Did you try Brazilian wax? I wanna try, but scared. Before I did laser, I used to get Brazilian waxes. Are they painful? Yes, very. But I do have to say, I never cried, but I did cry with laser. So for me, you're on the table and they make you do frog legs, which is like, pretend these are your feet and these are your knees and you have your legs in this position. They put the wax down and it's kind of like the hard wax where it's not strips. They wait for it to like solidify and then basically they just kind of like peel it a little bit and then rip it off. I would say if I had to rate it on a scale of zero to 10, 
zero being painless and 10 being like excruciating pain, I would say that it's probably like a 7.5, maybe an eight. I'm a weenie, so if I can do it and I can go back multiple times, you'll be fine. It's a different type of smooth where it's like zero hair smooth, but the hair does grow back. Probably like day five, it starts to like grow back for me, which they say it's like, oh, like two weeks, you come every two weeks, but the hair starts growing back. Like even though it's thinner and it's less hair, the hair does start to grow back within the first week for sure. But everybody's different. That was just my experience. It's the most painful the first time you go, but the next time, if you actually keep it up and you're consistent with it, it's less painful the next time. My lady parts are darker than my body. Does it make it less attractive? A lot, 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 a lot of people, not just women, guys too, trust me, guys too, they deal with this. A little bit of darkness there is completely normal and it's nothing that you should be embarrassed of. Should I send nudes? I'm not gonna tell you not to send nudes, but I'm gonna tell you to never have your face in nudes. God forbid something happens where the nudes get leaked or they're showing people, you do not wanna have your face in there because once you take a picture and it's online, it never leaves the internet. Is it normal for a girl to grow hair on their stomach? Yeah. Stinky discharge. I mean, everybody has a smell. Like you're gonna have some sort of scent. There's like normal and then there's like, okay, something is wrong here. And so if it's kind of like towards the edge of like something is wrong here, then I feel like you should A, of course, look at like, could this be an infection? And B, what am I eating? What am I putting into my body? Because what goes in must come out. Why do I keep getting ingrown hairs down there? I've tried everything to prevent them. This is the reason why I started laser treatments because I was just getting so many ingrowns and it was like affecting me. Like it was just too much. And ever since I started laser, literally zero ingrowns perfectly smooth it's like you want to get that close shave you want to get that shave where it's like super smooth but when you get that shave it irritates the hair growing back let's say you shave downstairs and it's nighttime i would recommend to just not wear any underwear and to just go to sleep wearing like some baggy pants because when you have fabric that's pressing against the skin it's just not letting that breathe you may want to be hairless 24 7 but honestly just letting the hair kind of grow in and then shave it like don't over shave because that again can cause a lot of like razor bumps and you also want to make sure that the razor that you're using is clean and that it's sharp and that it's not a dull razor that you've just been using like all over your body for weeks at a time what age is too young to lose your virginity I feel like that is a personal choice that you can decide on your own. Everybody's different and everybody has a different path and everybody has a different lifestyle. And it really just depends on who you are and what your beliefs are and what your morals are. I have never been in a relationship and I'm almost 20. How can I cope with that? That is nothing to be ashamed of. There's no time limit, there's no deadline, there's no like timeline that you have to meet and do this to be able to like be liked by somebody. If somebody respects you and really cares for you, if the person is genuine and has a good heart, they wouldn't care about things like that because that really doesn't matter. How do I know I'm ready for a relationship? Nothing's ever gonna like click where it's like, okay, I'm ready now for a relationship. Honestly, I just feel like you will know inside when you're willing to take that risk and when you are willing to try with another person. A relationship's a lot of work. It's trial and error. It's a learning experience. Once you're willing to go through that and you are mentally willing to go through that, then I feel like you're ready for a relationship. Do you use birth control? I have been taking birth control, the pill, since I was 18. And so that's just a personal choice because I want to regulate my periods and also helps with acne. Honestly, I do feel sometimes very, very emotional, but that's not enough to make me not take birth control because overall I feel like the benefits outweigh the negatives. Does your first time hurt or is it just uncomfortable? If you are warmed up, then it shouldn't hurt exactly, but everybody's different. I would say that it's more of like an uncomfortable feeling because this is something that's like brand new. It's something that's never happened before. It's not gonna be like a perfect puzzle piece because it's something new. Is Summer's Eve good for you? 
summer's eve is okay for the outside but you don't want to be putting things inside like you don't you can use things with fragrance on the outside but just don't use anything with fragrance on the inside how to take care of the booty area like scarring acne darkness i have recently been using bio oil and i've just been like applying it on certain areas where i have like a little bit of discoloration or anything like stretch marks i'm just trying to like even out my skin tone and so far so good i mean i see like a lot of positive reviews about it so i would definitely look into trying that but also exfoliating is so powerful like getting one of those exfoliating gloves or even just using a really good scrub just to get that skin that dead skin off when you're exfoliating and you're removing that layer then all the products that you put onto your skin after that point can really penetrate how to ask a guy to go down on you if he never does it while sex you could be cute with it you could be but honestly it's like we 50 50 if i'm doing something you doing something because it's not going to be working that way <laughs> How to handle inconsistent talking during the talking phase. Does that mean they're not into you? If you're questioning if someone's into you, usually they're not that into you. Literally, guys, if they want you and want to speak to you, they're gonna speak to you. All these games and like the kind of talking and it's like he only hits me up sometimes and he only hits me up at certain times of the night and he only wants me to come over. Like he's not really into you like that he's into you in a different way how do i know if i really like a guy or just the attention you know in here you know in here if it's the guy or if it's the attention because trust me you know do you see a future with him if no then probably you just like the attention my facial hair is coming out so thick, even when I remove it, I can see its spot, any advice? So I think that you're referring to like the pore and the best advice that I can give you for that is just to wax it. That pore is gonna be left into the skin. You can use a razor, you can use whatever you want, but it's not actually plucking the hair out. And so I would either pluck or wax. How much sex in a relationship is healthy? If you're in a relationship, I feel like you as a, team as a partnership need to be aware of each other's needs some people want to have sex multiple times a day three four five six seven times a day you want to communicate with your partner what your wants and needs are like if you're not getting enough sex and that's something that you should definitely talk about like if you're making moves and they're just shutting you down then that could be like a long-term problem i'm trying to get lighter elbows do you know or have any advice Certain things are genetic, but there are certain things that you can do to help improve skin tone. A lot of the time you're putting on lotion like this. You're like putting it on your arm, but you need to actually bend the arm to get to the elbow. If you're just keeping it like this, you're not getting all those like crevices, but also really exfoliating the area and really like bending it when you wash it and using like an exfoliating glove and then using the lotion on top. You need to use a really good moisturizing lotion. It would be amazing if it had like vitamin C in it that helps to brighten the skin. How to get over someone you gave all your time to but they never liked you. You have to acknowledge when somebody is a user and when somebody is not appreciating or valuing you. If you're giving all your time into somebody and they don't even like you, it's kind of like you need to look at the situation and realize your value and realize that maybe this is somebody that you shouldn't be putting all your efforts into and just learn from the situation learn from it and realize that okay for future i want to make sure that somebody actually likes me before i'm going to put all my energy into them Alrighty, those are all the questions that i'm going to answer in today's girl talk feel free to leave your girl talk ideas down below you guys know the drill also be sure to check the link in the description box to let me know what you guys think about the merch let me know let me know if you guys like this video then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.